Alright guys, we're back with Coco and we're working on the down thing again. That's the theme of the day. We're going to do some other stuff here in a minute though. But remember, we're now entering the phase where we're going to use the collar to teach the dog to remain stationary. So we want to think of that as just the dog understanding, I have to stay still. Not, I have to stay still while they walk over there, then they're going to call me or anything like that. Just to understand, we're going to use the collar to make them stay still. And Coco is really a very hyper little dog. So it can be more difficult with one like this. It was real hard in the beginning, and we had just started that earlier in the week. But if you tried to move at all, then she just would instantly jump up. And again, she's not consciously doing anything wrong. She's just very triggered by things in the environment. So we're going to use the nick here. And remember, we've already done the coming. We've got the healing going. And now we're starting on this. So... You know, you don't want to get your collar and then just start working on the stay right away because you want to make sure you've got a dog that'll come to you. No. Down. Good girl. 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 So that's where you want to start out. I had my finger on the nick with this one to be ready. If she started to get up, and remember you guys, in dog training, timing is everything. That's what makes this collar so much better. I had some moron leave a comment on there. Oh, use a pinch collar. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. No, down. You know, this is very impersonal. I'm not making a bunch of jerking movements, and my... My, my correction or cue is going to be consistent. You know, if I have a pinch collar on and I'm behind the dog or I'm at this angle, it's, it's, it's not going to work out. Good girl. Down. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So remember, you guys, the point of this exercise is I'm using the collar to help the dog understand to stay still. Not that, oh, the dog does it perfect or anything like that. All right, so I'm just going to heal away and come back. So remember, return to the place that you had success in the beginning. Down. Always get the dog to go on the hip. Good girl. And then read the body language. Her body language right there, she's kind of getting ready to get up, so I'm really going to be ready. So then we're going to heal away and come back to the same spot again. And I'm always going to use the pager to get the dog up out of here. This is how the dog is going to understand, you know, that it's okay to leave the remain stationary. I'm going to use the name because I want her to heal, but I also want her to come to me. Coco. success. Down. Good girl. This dog has got a really bad problem with jumping. No! Good. So rather than spending a lot of time correcting the dog for jumping, we're going to make her be successful by going down. Down. Good girl. Good girl. So that's all you're doing in the beginning, you guys. It's just going until you can go the leash length away from the dog. Good girl. Good. You know, and if I got over here and it started to get up, I would move back towards the dog. Good girl. Good girl. She is such a good little girl. Good 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 girl.
And we like to do it with a lot of distractions. You wouldn't maybe necessarily have all these distractions. But anyway, you guys, we're going to work, keep working on Coco. And the next step that we're going to do with these guys, once we get them downing like this, is start making them stay in the place. So that'll be our next episode. And then once we start doing that, then we also will start with the off-leash healing and all that. And then kind of just start pulling it all together. So, Rhonda, everything's going good. And... I'll touch base with you guys soon. Bye.